Saraswati, Sanskrit, Saraswati, Saraswati is the Hindu goddess of knowledge, music, art, wisdom, and learning. She is a part of the trinity Tridevi of Saraswati, Lakshmi and Parvati. All the three forms help the trinity of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva to create, maintain and regenerate recycle the universe respectively. The earliest known mention of Saraswati as a goddess is in the Rigveda. She has remained significant as a goddess from the Vedic period through modern times of Hindu traditions. Some Hindus celebrate the festival of Vasant Panchami, the fifth day of spring, and also known as Saraswati Puja and Saraswati Janti in so many parts of India, in her honor, and mark the day by helping young children learn how to write alphabets on that day. The goddess is also revered by believers of the Jain religion of West and Central India, as well as some Buddhist sects. Topic <inaudible> etymology. <inaudible> Sarasvati, is a Sanskrit fusion word of saras saras meaning pooling water, but also sometimes translated as speech, and vadi vadi meaning she who possesses, also found in the name of Parvati, she who has wings. Originally associated with the river or rivers known as Saraswati, this combination therefore means she who has ponds, lakes, and pooling water, or occasionally she who possesses speech. It is also a Sanskrit composite word of sarasa vadi, sarasa vadi which means, one with plenty of water. The word Saraswati appears both as a reference to a river and as a significant deity in the Rigveda. In initial passages, the word refers to the Sarasvati river and is mentioned as one among several northwestern Indian rivers such as the Drishadvati. Saraswati, then, connotes a river deity. In Book 2, the Rigveda describes Saraswati as the best of mothers, of rivers, of goddesses. Ambitame Niditame Divitame Sarasvati Rigveda 2.41.16 Best of mothers, best of rivers, best of goddesses, Sarasvati. Saraswati is celebrated as a feminine deity with healing and purifying powers of abundant, flowing waters in Book 10 of the Rigveda, as follows. Apo asmana mitara sunhayantu gartina no gartapva punantu visvam hai ripram parivahanti devarudadabhya susiraputa emi rigveda 10.17 May the waters, the mothers, cleanse us May they who purify with butter, purify us with butter For these goddesses bear away defilement I come up out of them pure and cleansed, translated by John Muir in Vedic literature, Saraswati acquires the same significance for early Indians states John Muir as that accredited to the river Ganges by their modern descendants. In hymns of Book 10 of Rigveda, she is already declared to be the possessor of knowledge. Her importance grows in Vedas composed after Rigveda and in Brahmanas, and the word evolves in its meaning from waters that purify to that which purifies to vacha speech that purifies to knowledge that purifies," and ultimately into a spiritual concept of a goddess that embodies knowledge, arts, music, melody, muse, language, rhetoric, eloquence, creative work and anything whose flow purifies the essence and self of a person. In Upanishads and Dharma Sastras, Saraswati is invoked to remind the reader to meditate on virtue, virtuous emoluments, the meaning and the very essence of one's activity, one's action. Saraswati is known by many names in ancient Hindu literature. Some examples of synonyms for Saraswati include Brahmani, power of Brahma, Brahmi, goddess of sciences, Bharati, goddess of history, Vani and Vashi, both referring to the flow of music, song, melodious speech, eloquent speaking respectively, Varnsvari, goddess of letters, Kavijivagravasini, one who dwells on the tongue of poets. Goddess Saraswati is also known as Vidyadatri, goddess who provides knowledge, Vinavadini, goddess who plays Veena, the musical instrument held by goddess Saraswati, Pustakdarini, goddess carrying book with herself, Vinapani, goddess carrying Veena in her hands, Hansavahini, goddess who sits on swan, and Vagdevi, goddess of speech. Topic: <laughs> Nomenclature In the Hindi language, her name is written Hindi in the Telugu, Sarasvati is also known as Chaduvula Thali, Kaduvula Thali and Sharada. In Konkani, she is referred to as Sharada, Vinapani, Pustakadharini, Vidyadayanini. In Kannada, variants of her name include Sharade, Sharadamba, Vani, Vinapani in the famous Sringeri temple. In Tamil, she is also known as Kalimagal, Kalimakal Kalivani, Kalivani Vani, Vani and Bharati. 
She is also addressed as Sarada, the one who offers Sarah or the essence, Sharada, the one who loves the autumn season, Vina Pustaka Darini, the one holding books, and Avina, Vagdevi, Vajishvari, both meaning goddess of speech. Vani speech, Varadhanayaki the one bestowing boons, Savitri consort of Brahma, Gayatri mother of Vedas. In India, she is locally spelled as Bengali, Sarasvati Saraswati, Malayalam, Sarasvati Saraswati, and Tamil, Karasvati Sarasvati. Outside Nepal and India, she is known in Burmese as Thirathati, pronounced Theta Uja, D or Theta Ua, D or Tipitaka Meda. Pronounced Tipika, MD, in Chinese as Biankaitian, Bian Kaitian in Japanese as Benzaitan, Bian Kaitian, Bian Kaitian, and in Thai as Saratsawadi. S. Rossi Topic Geography In Hindu tradition, Sarasvati has retained her significance as a goddess from the Vedic age up to the present day. In Shanti Parva of the Hindu epic Mahabharata, Saraswati is called the mother of the Vedas, and later as the celestial creative symphony who appeared when Brahma created the universe. In Book II of Taittiriya Brahmana, she is called the mother of eloquent speech and melodious music. Saraswati is the active energy and power of Brahma. She is also mentioned in many minor Sanskrit publications such as Sarada Tilaka of 8th century AD as follows. May the goddess of speech enable us to attain all possible eloquence. She who wears on her locks a young moon. Who shines with exquisite luster. Who sits reclined on a white lotus. And from the crimson cusp of whose hands pours. Radiance on the implements of writing, and books produced by her favor. On Saraswati, Sarada Tilaka. Saraswati became a prominent deity in Buddhist iconography, the consort of Manjushri in 1st millennium AD. In some instances such as in the Sadhanamala of Buddhist pantheon, she has been symbolically represented similar to regional Hindu iconography, but unlike the more well-known depictions of Saraswati. <laughs> Symbolism and iconography The goddess Saraswati is often depicted as a beautiful woman dressed in pure white, often seated on a white lotus, which symbolizes light, knowledge and truth. She not only embodies knowledge but also the experience of the highest reality. Her iconography is typically in white themes from dress to flowers to swan, the color symbolizing sattva guna or purity, discrimination for true knowledge, insight and wisdom. Her Dhyana mantra describes her to be as white as the moon, clad in a white dress, bedecked in white ornaments, radiating with beauty, holding a book and a pen in her hands. The book and the pen represent knowledge She is generally shown to have four arms, but sometimes just two. When shown with four hands, those hands symbolically mirror her husband Brahma's four heads, representing manas mind, sense, buddhi intellect, reasoning, sita imagination, creativity and ahamkara self-consciousness, ego. Brahma represents the abstract, while she represents action and reality. The four hands hold items with symbolic meaning. A pustaka book or script, a mala rosary, garland, a water pot and a musical instrument vena. The book she holds symbolizes the Vedas representing the universal, divine, eternal, and true knowledge as well as all forms of learning. A mala of crystals, representing the power of meditation, inner reflection and spirituality. A pot of water represents the purifying power to separate right from wrong, the clean from the unclean, and essence from the inessential. In some texts, the pot of water is symbolism for soma, the drink that liberates and leads to knowledge. The most famous feature on Saraswati is a musical instrument called a veena, represents all creative arts and sciences, and her holding it symbolizes expressing knowledge that creates harmony. Saraswati is also associated with anuraga, the love for and rhythm of music, which represents all emotions and feelings expressed in speech or music. A hamsa or swan is often located next to her feet. In Hindu mythology, the hamsa is a sacred bird, which if offered a mixture of milk and water, is said to be able to drink the milk alone. It thus symbolizes the ability to discriminate between good and evil, essence from outward show and the eternal from the evanescent. Due to her association with the swan, Saraswati is also referred to as hamsavahini, which means, she who has a hamsa as her vehicle. The swan is also a symbolism for spiritual perfection, transcendence and moksha, sometimes a citramekala also called myura, peacock is shown beside the goddess. 
The peacock symbolizes colorful splendor, celebration of dance, and, as the devourer of snakes, the alchemical ability to transmute the serpent poison of self into the radiant plumage of enlightenment. She is usually depicted near a flowing river or other body of water, which depiction may constitute a reference to her early history as a river goddess. Regional manifestations of Saraswati Maha Saraswati In some regions of India, such as Vindhya, Odisha, West Bengal and Assam, as well as East Nepal, Saraswati is part of the Devi Mahatmya mythology, in the trinity of Mahakali, Mahalakshmi and Mahasaraswati. This is one of many different Hindu legends that attempt to explain how the Hindu trinity of gods Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and goddesses Saraswati, Lakshmi and Parvati came into being. Various Purana texts offer alternate legends for Maha Saraswati. Maha Saraswati is depicted as eight-armed and is often portrayed holding a veena whilst sitting on a white lotus flower. Her Dhyana Sloka given at the beginning of the fifth chapter of Devi Mahatmya is Wielding in her lotus hands the bell, trident, plowshare, conch, pestle, discus, bow, and arrow, her luster is like that of a moon shining in the autumn sky. She is born from the body of Gauri and is the sustaining base of the three worlds. That Mahasaraswati I worship here who destroyed Sumba and other Asuras. Mahasaraswati is also part of another legend, the Navshaktis, not to be confused with Navdurgas, or nine forms of Shakti, namely Brahmi, Vaishnavi, Maheshwari, Kaumari, Varahi, Narsimi, Aindri, Shivduti, and Chamunda, revered as powerful and dangerous goddesses in eastern India. They have special significance on Navaratri in these regions. All of these are seen ultimately as aspects of a single great Hindu goddess, with Maha Saraswati as one of those nine. Topic. Avatars There are many avatars of goddess Saraswati. Savitri and Gayatri are considered as two wives of Brahma. Maha Saraswati is also one form of Adi Shakti Saraswati. Topic. Mahadiya Nila Saraswati In Tibet and parts of India, Nila Saraswati is a form of Mahadiya Tara. Nila Saraswati is a different deity from traditional Saraswati, yet subsumes her knowledge and creative energy in tantric literature. Nila Saraswati is the Ugra angry, violent, destructive manifestation in one school of Hinduism, while the more common Saraswati is the Samawa calm, compassionate, productive manifestation found in most others. In tantric literature of the former, Nila Saraswati has a 100 names. There are separate dhyana slokas and mantras for her worship in Tantrasara. Worship Topic. Temples There are many temples dedicated to Saraswati around the world. Some notable temples include the Nana Saraswati Temple in Basar on the banks of the river Godavari, the Warangal Saraswati and Sri Saraswati Shetramu temples in Medak, Telangana. In Karnataka, one of many Saraswati, Sharada pilgrimage spots is Sringer Sharadamba Temple. In Ernakulam district of Kerala, there is a famous Saraswati temple in North Paravar, namely Dakshina Mukambika Temple North Paravar. In Tamil Nadu, Kuthanur hosts a Saraswati temple about 25 km from Tiruvarur. In her identity as Brahmani, additional Saraswati temples can be found throughout Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Uttar Pradesh. Festivals One of the most famous festivals associated with goddess Saraswati is the Hindu festival of Vasant Panchami. Celebrated on the fifth day in the Hindu calendar month of Magha month, it is also known as Saraswati Puja and Saraswati Janti in India. In West Bengal and Tripura, goddess Saraswati is worshipped on Vasant Panchami, a Hindu festival celebrated every year on the fifth day in the Hindu calendar month of Magha about February. Hindus celebrate this festival in temples, homes and educational institutes alike. In Bihar and Jharkhand, Vasant Panchami is commonly known as Saraswati Puja. On this day, Goddess Saraswati is worshipped in schools, colleges, educational institutes as well as in institutes associated with music and dance. Cultural programs are also organized in schools and institutes on this day. 
People especially students worship goddess Saraswati also in pandals a tent made up of colorful cloths, decorated with lights and other decorative items. In these states, on the occasion of Saraswati Puja, goddess Saraswati is worshipped in the form of idol, made up of soil. On Saraswati Puja, the idol is worshipped by people and prasad is distributed among the devotees after puja. Prasad mainly consists of bundi pieces of carrot, peas and Indian plum on the next day or any day depending on religious condition, the idol is immersed in a pond known as Murti Visarjan or Pratima Visarjan after performing a Havana immolation, with full joy and fun, playing with a beer and gulal. After Pratima Visarjan, members involved in the organization of puja ceremony eat kichdi together. In Goa, Maharashtra and Karnataka, Saraswati Puja starts with Saraswati Avahan on Maha Saptami and ends on Vijayadashami with Saraswati Udasan or Visarjan. In 2018, the Haryana government launched and sponsored National Saraswati Mahatsav in its state named after Saraswati. <laughs> Saraswati Puja in South India In Kerala and Tamil Nadu, the last three days of the Navaratri festival, i.e., Ishtama, Navami, and Dashami, are celebrated as Sarasvati Puja. The celebrations start with the Puja Vaipu placing for worship. It consists of placing the books for Puja on the Ishtama day. It may be in one's own house, in the local nursery school run by traditional teachers, or in the local temple. The books will be taken out for reading, after worship, only on the morning of the third day Vijaya Dashami. It is called Puja Edipu taking from Puja. Children are happy, since they are not expected to study on these days. On the Vijaya Dashami day, Kerala and Tamil Nadu celebrates the Ezihuthanaruthu or initiation of writing for the little children before they are admitted to nursery schools. This is also called Vidyarambam. The child is made to write for the first time on the rice spread in a plate with the index finger, guided by an elder of the family or by a teacher. Topic. Outside the Indian subcontinent Topic. Myanmar In Burma, the Shwezagan Mon inscription dated to be of 1084 AD, near Bagan, recites the name Saraswati as follows. The wisdom of eloquence called Saraswati shall dwell in mouth of King Sri Tribhuanaditchadamaraha at all times. Translated by the Ntunan Buddhist Arts of Myanmar, she is called Thurathadi or Theathadi. Students in Myanmar pray for her blessings before their exams. She is also believed to be, in Mahayana pantheon of Myanmar, the protector of Buddhist scriptures. <laughs> Japan The concept of Saraswati migrated from India, through China to Japan, where she appears as Benzaitan, Worship of Benzaitan arrived in Japan during the 6th through 8th centuries. She is often depicted holding a biwa, a traditional Japanese lute musical instrument. She is enshrined on numerous locations throughout Japan such as the Kamakura's Zenurai Benzaitan Yugafuku Shrine or Nagoya's Kawahara Shrine. The three biggest shrines in Japan in her honor are at the Anishima Island in Sagami Bay, the Chikubu Island in Lake Biwa, and the Itsukushima Island in Seto Inland Sea. Topic. Cambodia Saraswati was honoured with invocations among Hindus of Angkorian Cambodia, suggests a 10th century and another 11th century inscription. She and Brahma are referred to in Cambodian epigraphy from the 7th century onwards, and she is praised by Khmer poets for being goddess of eloquence, writing and music. More offerings were made to her than to her husband Brahma. She is also referred to as Vajasvari and Bharati in Yasovarman era Khmer literature. Topic. Thailand In ancient Thai literature, Saraswati Thai, Sarasdi RTGS, Saratsawadi, is the goddess of speech and learning, and consort of Brahma. Over time, Hindu and Buddhist concepts on deities merged in Thailand. Icons of Saraswati with other deities of India are found in old Thai Wats. Amulets with Saraswati and a peacock are also found in Thailand. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Indonesia. Saraswati is an important goddess in Balinese Hinduism. 
She shares the same attributes and iconography as Saraswati in Hindu literature of India. In both places, she is the goddess of knowledge, creative arts, wisdom, language, learning, and purity. In Bali, she is celebrated on Saraswati Day, one of the main festivals for Hindus in Indonesia. The day marks the close of 210 day year in the Pawukan calendar. On Saraswati Day, people make offerings in the form of flowers in temples and to sacred texts. The day after Saraswati Day, is Banu Pinara, a day of cleansing. On this day, Hindus of Bali go to the sea, sacred waterfalls or river spots, offer prayers to Saraswati, and then rinse themselves in that water in the morning. Then they prepare a feast, such as the traditional Bebek Batutu and Nasi Kuning, that they share. The Saraswati Day festival has a long history in Bali. It has become more widespread in Hindu community of Indonesia in recent decades, and it is celebrated with theatre and dance performance. Topic Tibet In Tibet, she is known as Yang Chen Ma singing, music goddess, or Yang Chen Drolma singing, music tara considered the consort of Manjusri, Buddha of Wisdom, she is one of the 21 Teras, Saraswati is the divine embodiment and bestower of enlightened eloquence and inspiration, patroness of the arts, sciences, music, language, literature, history, poetry and philosophy, all those engaged in creative endeavors in Tibetan Buddhism. She is considered the peaceful manifestation of Paldan Lamo glorious goddess. In the Gelugpa tradition, Paldan Lamo is known as Magzer Gyalmo the queen who repels armies and as a wrathful emanation of Saraswati while being a protector. Saraswati was the Yidam principal personal meditational deity of 14th century Tibetan monk Jasangkapa. He composed a devotional poem, Prayer to Saraswati, to her. She is believed in the Tibetan tradition to have accompanied him on his travels, as well as regularly engaging in conversations with him. Topic see also topic Notes topic References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Saraswati. Encyclopædia Britannica 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Kinsley, David 1998. Tantric Visions of the Divine Feminine, The Ten Mahadiyas R. E. P. R., ed. Delhi, Mutalal Banarsidass. ISBN 81-208-1523-8. Sankaranarayanan, S. 2001. Glory of the Divine Mother Devi Mahatmayam. India, Nesma Books. ISBN 81-87936-00-2. Topic further reading Salen Devnath, The Meanings of Hindu Gods, Goddesses and Myths, ISBN 9788129114375 Rupa & Rupa & Co., New Delhi. Saraswati, Swami Satyananda. Saraswati Puja for Children. ISBN 1-877795-31-3. Ankerl, Guy. 2000. Global Communication Without Universal Civilization. Inu Societal Research. Volume 1, Coexisting Contemporary Civilizations, Arabo-Muslim, Bharati, Chinese, and Western. Geneva, Inu Press. ISBN 2-88155-004-5. External links Sarasvati at Encyclopedia Britannica Stephen Knapp, Sarasvati, The Goddess of Learning Prayer to Sarasvati by Jasangkapa, translated by Gavin Kilty, The Splendor of an Autumn Moon The Devotional Verse of Sangkapa, Wisdom Publications.